What's up, y'all? Good morning. I'm um, sorry I didn't get back to you guys yesterday after I got home. I got home pretty late, later than usual, and I was just tired. So I decided to come chop it up with you guys this morning. I will insert a clip of my vision board, but I'm... I want to talk about a few things that are on there um, the ones that are going to the ones that I'm going to work super super hard at this year are um, number one quitting smoking you see the, the picture up there of um, the cigarettes broken up into the word quit and I know that I need to, so I will hopefully, not hopefully, let's not do that. I'm going to, I'm going to quit this year. Um, I need to, I should have been quit. I tried numerous times unsuccessfully to put the cigarettes down. Um, I got so far as I believe a week one time and I got so stressed out when my son broke his arm and of course my first thing go to my vice, run and get a cigarette. Um, 2019 is going to be the year of a healthier me. Um, you are what you eat is something that you will also see on my vision board. I'm going to do the best that I can and be consistent in changing my eating habits. I love sugar, cookies, cakes, ice creams, candies, in no particular order. Those are my downfall so I will be working super hard this year to change my eating habits and work out I'm not gonna be like a gym rat or anything but I definitely do need to lose a couple pounds shed a couple inches and I'm going to motivate myself and try to remain encouraged to um, uh, follow that through um, buying a car you saw a car up there I need to purchase a car because public transportation down here is just not conducive to my work hours and um, the things that I need to do on my days off. Coming from New York, I really didn't need a car. Um, driving has always made me feel anxious and it's a bit intimidating, but down here in the South, it is something that is quite the necessity. So. In 2019, I'm going to obtain my license, my son and myself, and I will purchase a car. Um, bookworm, bookworm babe, I want to read more this year. I used to read a lot. I enjoy reading, but um, I've since over the last few years turned into a couch potato and I need to turn the TV off, put the phone down and pick up a book. Um, I have a Zane book that I'm going to start reading. You know, Zane is a little bit more on the erotica side. I need something to get me through these hard times. But um, I'm interested in reading Michelle Obama's Becoming, which I will be purchasing shortly. And, um, you know, just any other books that I come across. So if anybody has any good book suggestions, please drop down in the comments and let me know. I will definitely check them out. Um, what else is up here? Worry-free. Worry-free is something that I am super excited about um, accomplishing and achieving in 2019 and moving forward. It's no secret, I've struggled and continue to struggle with anxiety. And um, any a number of things make me anxious um, and I just, I need to retrain myself to not think about of, of course, you know, we think about the future, but my bad habit is thinking about the future for things that I just cannot control or thinking about the now for things that I just cannot control or thinking about the past for things that I just could not control. My goal for 2019 is to be worry free, anxiety free. There will always be little things that, you know, make us anxious. That's a natural human reaction, but I just want to, um, work hard at not letting 
things that are way out of my control affect my train of thought, affect my mood. Um, just being to the point where what I can control and what I must control, I will. And whatever I can't, I can't. And learning to let that be. Um, what else is up here? Live life full throttle goes hand in hand with the fear of speaking keeps many people from being heard. I don't know if you guys heard me. The fear of speaking keeps many people from being heard. And that's something that I struggled with in the middle of 2018 toward the end and why I decided to start this channel to get my story out there to share with people things that I've gone through things that you know I think about things that I've experienced that maybe some people you know can identify with um, those same things or to you know just be a voice of encouragement for people that have struggled and may still be struggling with the same things that I struggle and still struggle you know that I've struggled with in the past and that I still continue to struggle with um, I was very doubtful and fearful of ruffling some feathers but I had to let that go and you know no doubt I've, I've shared with um, you guys in the past um, a little while ago how that kind of sort of came back to bite me in the ass but at the end of the day um i didn't start this channel for anybody other than myself so i will not let the fear what does it say i will not let the fear of speaking not you know keep my voice quiet i'm going to say what i need to say for me and for anybody else that may be experiencing or has experienced um different things from low self-esteem to lack of confidence to anxiety to you know um wanting to lose weight to you know just speaking candidly and openly about anything that you know you may be going through um i've struggled with my authenticity in terms of the way that I speak when I'm not on camera versus how I speak when I am on camera. And, you know, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, I can articulate, you know, what I'm trying to say very well. Um, I don't have, you know, a limited vocabulary, but sometimes I'm just comfortable speaking differently. And I need to get more into my comfort level and, just, you know, relax a little bit. So that goes with, you know, living life full throttle and not caring what anybody has to think or what anybody has to say about me, what I do, how I do it, why I choose to do it, what I talk about, when I choose to talk about it, um, or whatever. Um, just looking for another word that's on there is freedom. Um, buying a car is going to give me the freedom that I need to move about this uh, great city of Atlanta and um being free to speak about what i want to speak about will get my voice out there get my story out there and get some things off of my chest that may help me to be worry free see i'm trying to tie it all in together for you guys um a house is up there i'm not going to say that i don't think i will be able to purchase a house this year i'm going to try hard but my main focus and my main goal is a car um save big is up there which is something that i need to do i need to you know work on my savings and that will help me purchase a car and you know eventually purchase a house peace is up there i'm looking for inner peace um within myself i've been struggling lately a little more than before with anxiety and i felt the need to return to therapy which is something that i said i knew i needed to do before not only to move on and um you know put to rest and finally close the big book that was my life for um you know nine years in terms of my relationship with my ex but you know to still work on me and figure out and get to the bottom of why i do the things that i do say the things that i say oftentimes and you know just work on my anxiety and you know my 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 worriness um Moving on after a split and the right to heal. Again, my therapy appointment is next week. I'm super excited to go. I'm hoping everything pans out. We are in the middle of a partial government shutdown, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect my health benefits and or my copay. But um, it's something that if, if it doesn't work out next week, I will be 
consistent in making another appointment when normal operations resume for the government and move forward with that. I need to heal and I have the right to heal and heal in any way that I see fit for myself. Whether it's just talking to you guys or, you know, seeking therapy, both just talking to my friends and my family, writing, whatever it is that I choose to do, um, I have that right and I'm going to exercise all rights. I attract attract is up there that's something that i'm you know going to be very um dedicated to just attracting positivity into my life into my circle um want to like you know make other friends friends that have different backgrounds from myself um friends that may be older than me that can you know show me some things give me advice and suggestions on how they achieved certain things um just looking for, you know, the right people to be into my, you know, in my life and um, add to the great people that I already have in my life. You can never have too much positivity. You can never have too much encouragement, motivation, love, and support. I'm just looking to expand on that. Um, focus on love is up there. That is something that I know I need to do for myself. Focus on love of self, self-love. Focus on the love that I have for my son and rebuilding and repairing the relationship that we have. We've been doing good. Of course, you know, we have our ups and downs where we don't see eye to eye, but that's with any mother, um, you know, parent and, and, and child relationship. But just continuing to um, show him the love that I neglected to show him in the past and learn how to love myself more moving forward um, to guide me in my decision making um love and laughter is up there uh again taking it back to attracting positivity into my life and into my circle i want to laugh more um i want to love more i'm not looking for anybody i don't need to be in a relationship to love um i love my friends with all my heart i love my family to death and those are the relationships that i need to continue to work on and to build and get better and you know experience and laughs along the way um what else is up there a, a moment for you i've spent so much time catering to everyone else what whether it was my ex or you know my son at certain times that you know i forgot to take care of me and you know you see you see the 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 mean you can't pour from an empty cup take care of you first and that's something that i need to adopt and stick with in 2019 excuse me just learning how and when to say no learning how and when to take a break take some time out some me time run a bath drink some wine watch you know a love story turn the tv off read a book put the phone down you know think meditate I'm, you know, meditating may be a little difficult for me due to my worrisome and anxiety personality, anxious personality, but I'm going to get there. But just simply taking some time out for myself and, you know, focusing on things that I want to accomplish. Um, who has the power is up there. You knowing that I have the power to choose to react to certain situations and or not react not showing up for every you know battle and or argument that i'm invited to um having the power to you know remain focused and positive and motivated within myself not being too hard on myself um setting goals and accomplishing them and if i'm unable to accomplish them this time knowing that it's not the end of the world and to just keep going i have the power to push myself and that's what i'm gonna do i encourage everyone to do the same i want 2019 to be a successful um prosperous healthy year for everyone i'm not sure if you were able to see it but up there at the very top new year new queens girl power i see a lot of young ladies like you know on social media they are entrepreneurs and girls we are going to do this this year um and 
everything comes along with that. Encouraging your friends, supporting them in their business, in their dreams, in their, you know, endeavors and being there for them, showing up for them. Nothing and everything doesn't have to be monetary. Sometimes it's not about, you know, making a purchase. Sometimes it's just about um, spreading the word, getting getting your friends some 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 more exposure, which is why I always beg you guys to like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. Honestly, Aisha, of course, I want to get my subscribers up, my views up. There's money to be made off of YouTube, but that's not my main focus, just to get my voice out there. You never know. If you share any of my videos, I may be able to, you know, reach someone else. So, girl power, new year, new queens. It's all about love, support, encouragement, and motivation of your friends, your girlfriends that are seeking and aspiring to do anything that they want to do, show up for them. Let them know that you have their back. Um, and of course, it will all come back to you. What you put out is what you get back. Um, yeah. What else is up there? Secure your future. That's what I'm trying to do um, in terms of saving. Save big. We're going to try and tie it all together. Like I said, I'm trying to secure my future with um, purchasing a car and a house and just, you know, having something um, to to show for what I've worked, you know, what I've been working for. I just don't get up and go to work to pay bills only. Um, you know, I want to I wanna be able to see my money. I want to be able to see that, you know, what I put my best foot forward and I was able to, you know, get something great out of it. Um, being driven, I'm, I'm going to be driven this year to remain consistent. That is going to be my word for 2019. Consistency, it's been my word for quite some time, but I haven't been able to be as consistent as I know that I can be. So, um, this year and moving forward every year, I will always try to remain no you can't say try and then be inconsistent together because no that doesn't go away right um i'm going to i am going to remain consistent for each and everything that i set out to do um and to keep pushing forward no matter how hard the days are no matter how hard you know i feel like life is in the moment remaining consistent to keep pushing forward and to never give up so that's a little bit about my vision board i hope you guys um enjoy and i hope you got something from what i said i wish for whatever your visions are and or resolutions that you know you you do the best that you can to accomplish any and every goal that you set out um to accomplish um that you have the encouragement and the support and the motivation to keep going, to never give up. We're going to make 2019 a great year. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in. Again, honestly, Aisha, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. I thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Monday, and I'll chop it up with you guys later on in the week.